Okay, this is why I went to Minnesota. Brand new set of cat salt rails with 27 inch extreme service grousers. And they're covered with that stuff that looks like in that movie, The, well, the Last of Us. <laughs> Girls just like that stuff. Anyway, push arms are in good shape. Apparently they couldn't find the guards, so I don't have guards for that one either. Dang it. That must be the serial number. It's a 19K5411. Anyway, it's it's a pretty dang good looking U dozer. It had all those cutting edges greater cutting edges welded in it and he cut them off he didn't like them so but it's in it's in really good shape i mean it's not excessively wore out it's not bent up cutting edges are getting down to nothing but it looks like somebody took care of it um does look like they chewed her clear into the frog but then put added some stuff on it that's actually quite a bit of material. Okay, I might want to just run that and wear it down into here. <laughs> anyway, 15 grand for those, five grand for the dozer blade. I think I did pretty well. So, more crap, but the pay dirt rosa. Okay. Coming through Russell, Kansas, home of Bob Dole, spokesman for Viagra. Politicians make the best spokesman for Viagra because they're always screwing us. They got a constant hard on for screwing us. All traffic must exit when flashing. I'm Bob Pete. I'm Bob Dole. You know, and I know, and the American people know. I shouldn't speak bad of him, he was a World War II veteran, and he got his arm, shoulder, whatever, all messed up. But I don't care how good a guy you are, it seems like you get in and be a politician and you turn into an asshole. And that's on both sides. Bob was a Republican. I think they need to do away with political parties. George Washington said political parties would be the death of our country. They're playing team politics, and they've trained you to think your team is the best and the other team sucks. And I just, I see this BS on Instagram and Facebook and everywhere where the Republicans take a story and spin it their way. The Democrats spin it completely the other way. And you kind of got to read a reputable source that will tell you the whole story, make your decision based on that. But I think we need to get rid of political parties, run on your name, your reputation. And then if you collude with other members of Congress to do what both parties are doing, to line their own pockets and get their way, you should be thrown out of office and get some jail time. What do you think? What's your opinion there? Everybody's got an opinion about this. So anyway, that's Jeff's two cents, but I, I've had a good time being able to visit some of the people I know through YouTube. And uh, I didn't think I'd be gone this long, but it takes a long time to travel that far in a Super Dodge, even if you got it wound up to 80. So, a gentleman in Fargo named Lance, uh, he's the one that sent me the Facebook link for the D9 tracks, and I bought them, and he has also found me somebody to haul them, somebody out of Fargo. E.W. Willie, I think, was their name. And they can haul them next week. A guy I bought them from is 84. 
so he's got a bad knee he's in no condition to crawl up into that great big I don't know they probably got a five or six yard Michigan loader or Clark loader and get those loaded up so his son uh, has a drag line down in Iowa that he's been running and he's got to go down there and so I needed to get that taken care of this week or not excuse me next week so this gentleman from the trucking company says they could pick it up next week no problem so I'm hoping that works out I was gonna go get it and we've gotten busy now I mean I waited and waited to do this I wanted to go see it first before I paid him. And he also had a D9HU dozer and it's in really good shape. And I paid five grand for that, so I bought that. Anyway, I wanted to do this back when uh, we weren't working. I wanted to either take the Peterbilt and the tag trailer, put the tracks in the dump box, and the blade on the tack trailer but or take the Kenworth and just put the tracks on the deck and then put the blade on top of the tracks put the push arms inside the U-dozer chain it all down and go and Matt got his CDL and I thought it would be a good I thought it would be a good opportunity for Matt to drive that truck I'd go with him to Minnesota and pick that up uh, be good experience for him but then we got busy spring came and we got busy and uh, I can make more money at home uh, doing work than taking time off to drive to Minnesota in the truck so I've opted to go ahead and have somebody haul it so I, I really really want to thank Lance for sending me the link so I could buy those tracks uh, I paid 15 grand for those tracks brand new cat salt tracks with 27 inch extreme service grousers so those are the wide pads normally uh, like my G has 24 inch pads, the H on the concrete has 24s, and the other D9H out back has 24s, but you can run 27s. So for 15 grand, I couldn't pass that up, and then 5 grand for the dozer. Um, I thought that was a, a pretty good deal. So, anyway that's the story on that so I needed to go back I needed to uh, visually look at what I was buying and make sure it was everything they said it was and then getting paid and then while I'm there you know I wanted to drop down into Joplin and see Brendan and Aaron and I made a boo-boo uh, I gotta apologize to Blaine and Katie Kessie. They live in Atchison, and they they weren't that far from uh, Kansas City. And I was thinking Atchison was out more in central Kansas. I should have I should have Google mapped it to see where they were and called them and stopped by and visited them, but I completely forgot. Uh, Blaine. And Katie come out west every year and they've stopped by the last two years to visit Tammy and I and they even camped at our place on the way back to Kansas and uh, so Blaine I apologize for that that was a real bonehead move on my part but anyway I so I stopped in uh, Joplin and Spent the night with Brent, Brandon and Aaron 
Brandon's YouTube channel is Elite Earthworks. And uh, we went out to dinner. Oh, just working on a little video here in the office. Okay, bye bye. interesting story with those two they went through that big tornado 11 years ago that was a mile wide and 300 mile an hour winds and it took out their house and they were in the bathtub with their four-year-old son and Brandon was holding a mattress over top of him and it sucked Brandon out and he ended up in the backyard anyway he ended up with a lot of broken ribs and a whole bunch of stitches in his back and his face was just absolutely peppered with you know like debris and stuff that hit him hey they're really super lucky to be alive it's quite a story so the next day I drove it was only about 20 minutes I drove down to Baxter Springs and that's where Jim Blaylock has Blaylock Turbochargers, his business. And I didn't tell Jim I was coming. So, anyway, he, he had quite a surprised look on his face when he walked in the office and there I was. I got to see uh, the new turbo housing. He has that new housing which is an open throat design so there's only one knife in there now instead of two because the split housings uh, had to have two knives in them anyway he has this new housing made in uh, Indiana at a foundry there and uh, anyway it's just a, it's a way better design way simpler I was really interested to see that so I did that and then unfortunately I had to leave because I needed to be at Frank's and uh, so Jim gave me a big hug and I hit the road and uh, I got to Frank's about 6:30, and anyway we had a we had a good time there. We had a ride around the farm and his ATV. We just had a good time. It was fun. Never been to Frank's. Seen it in the video, but it just looks different when you actually see it in person. I don't know. Everything looks different when you see it in person versus video. You know, if I had a couple weeks. I could have had a good time. I could have stopped at a lot of places and and uh, let people know I was coming through. We could have had a good time. We could have stopped and met at the local watering hole and watered our holes. These holes. <laughs> All right. So now, don't know where I am. If I had more time, I would have rather taken the state roads because you always see all kinds of cool stuff along the state county roads. Lots of old farm stuff, yellow iron, just all kinds of cool stuff. Always an adventure when you take the rural route. 